I've got a DIY on how to do a cable cam. This cable cam is very simple. It's pretty much PVC pipe, wood, bolts, some wheels, and some rope. So the rope I'm using is very simple. It's a nylon rope. It works, but only if you tighten it with a tie down or some sort of ratchet strap to make it completely tight so it'll run smoothly. To tighten my line, I used a tie down with a ratchet strap so I could tighten the line from the anchored object in building this, all I did was make two components. The first component being the trolley mechanism itself with, I believe these are clothesline rollers. And all I did was take a PVC pipe with a T, cut this in half, put the T in the center, and then took an all thread. So you take your all thread and you can run your all thread through the PVC pipe with washers and nuts on the end so then you will keep tension and keep the wheels up. The second portion is the portion that will carry the body of the camera and let me get the camera out of the way for you. So I have just taken a normal tripod and I've taken the tripod and grinded off certain areas on this so that it would fit into this mount I've made on it for DSLRs. You can also mount GoPros, whatever other kind of camera. But I had a broken tripod so I made use of this by filing down the bottom so it would sit flush with the board and then made it so the camera would be accepted. And then I've got just PVC pipes slide on and then drilled some holes through the board. So I've drilled drilled the holes directly through here, put a washer over top of the PVC and a bolt through and then they screw directly into these wheel pieces. And these wheel pieces, this sort of has a double purpose. So say you are done using a cable camera and you want to just do a pan on something else. You slide the, the body of the camera along and I've set up a tracking system so I can get a more accurate precise slide across. I'm still working on the tracks, but it's helped out a lot, and I've gotten some pretty nice shots with this. So you can go and get all the parts for this for like 20 bucks, if that, and have yourself a cable camera, and get yourself some better footage.